Hello and welcome back to this step-by-step -step tutorial. Today we are going to create a Google Sheet and my SQL integration using NAN, a source available workflow automation tool. Take a look at the example workflow. When a user fills out a Google form, new entry is added to the Google spreadsheet. Next, we will add these Google Sheet rows into a centralized MySQL database. Using NAN, you can create a simple automation just for this purpose. Each published N8N template can be copy-pasted directly into the editor. You will find the link to the template for this tutorial in the description below the video. You can pause the video and come back to it when you're ready to continue. You will need a couple of extra things to complete this tutorial. A Google Cloud Platform project. A running MySQL database. Don't worry, we will explain how to create them in just a few seconds. So let's get started. First, open NAN in your web browser and add a new workflow. In this tutorial, we will create a Google Sheet and MySQL integration from scratch. For now, select the manual trigger. We will add the schedule trigger later. Now, let's add our first data source, the Google Sheet node. Create new credentials. If you have never created OAuth2 credentials for Google before, go to the Open Docs link and follow the instructions. Create a new Google Cloud Platform project Configure an OAuth consent screen once for the new project. Add new credentials. Next, register the OAuth redirect URL from NAN in Google Cloud. Take the client ID and a client secret, paste these into the corresponding N8N fields. Now sign in with Google, grant access, and press continue. All set to load data. But wait a second, we don't have data yet. Let's fix that too. Create a new Google form with several questions. You can take the question names from the workflow page. Make sure that the Google Form answers are saved in a separate spreadsheet. Click on the View in Sheets button and add a new variable, DB status. It will show which entries were synchronized in the MySQL database. Now let's test this first data source. Make a few form submissions. Copy the spreadsheet URL. Come back to N8N, enter this URL into the document field and configure the node as shown on the screen. Don't forget to click on the Add Option button and select Return All Matches. Click the Execute Node button. Great, your first data source is ready. Before moving on, we also need to create a MySQL database. If you don't have one, just visit a DB for free website sign up for a new database and fill in the text fields. After that you will receive a confirmation email, click on the link to activate the new database. Now you can log into the new database through PHP MyAdmin. Create a new table where we will store the Google Sheet records. Click on the database name on the left, then click on the import button. We will load an SQL file that creates a new table for us. You can get a link to this file from the workflow page on the NAN website. Great, a new table has been added. Let's connect this MySQL database to NAN. To do this, create new credentials and fill in the fields according to the activation email. Now, let's switch the operation mode to select and pick a new table from the drop-down list. Configure the node as shown on the screen. After connecting the two data sources, let's run the workflow again. The variable names from Google Sheet are different from the MySQL table. Let's add a set node and rename the variables as shown on the screen. Enter this JS snippet to convert Google timestamp into a valid ISO date. Also, don't forget to click on the Keep Only Set switch. Now let's synchronize the data. Add a Compare Datasets node, enter fields to match in the config window, timestamp and source name. 
We also want to ignore some MySQL service variables. Add them into the fields to skip comparing. Now, close the configuration screen, connect the set node to input A, connect the MySQL node to input B, and run the workflow. As you can see, an A-only branch contains new Google Sheet items that have not yet been integrated. Let's drag a line from this output and add a new MySQL node. In the config window, select the same credentials, make sure that operation is set to insert or update, and configure the node as demonstrated. If everything is done correctly, several new rows will appear in my SQL database. Before we go any further, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for all future videos. We regularly release new content, so stay tuned. Our integration has a couple of limitations as of now. Imagine there are more and more data in Google Sheet as users submit new forms. For now, N8N will load all items every time the workflow starts, thus slowing down this integration over time. Let's fix that. First, let's assume that submitted forms are reviewed and either accepted or rejected. Go into PHP My Admin and change the DB status of one row in the MySQL database. Let's go back to the N8N canvas and run the workflow again. This time, the Compare Datasets node shows an item in the different branch output. We can see that the initial status from Google Sheets is empty, but there is some value in the MySQL database. Let's connect an IF node to this output and make sure that only status changes in the database are taken into account. Finally, add a new Google Sheet node. Select the Update operation and configure the node as demonstrated. The Google Sheet document now has a value for the DB status. Now let's limit the number of items coming from the MySQL database. Run the workflow again. As you can see, items still come from the database. This time one of them goes into the NB only branch since there is no corresponding item in the input AW. Let's add a similar IF node and make sure that source name is not empty. After that, let's add another MySQL node. Select Update Operation and a table. Specify column to match on and update only the source name column. Now we have marked the record as synced and we are no longer taking it from the database. Let's take it one step further and automate the notifications for the unanswered forms. As you can see, items with missing DB status go into same branch output. We can consider such records as unanswered form submissions. Let's add another IF node with a date time condition. We are going to check if a Google form was submitted four hours ago. At the next workflow execution, unanswered forms which were submitted four hours ago will pass this condition. You can add more operations to send chat notification or an email. With NAN, you have a lot of possibilities to enhance this automation even further. Finally, we can add a new cron trigger to run this automation on a regular basis. Pick the custom trigger interval and provide the cron rule. For example, you can make this automation run every half an hour from early morning till late evening on weekdays. Don't forget to connect the schedule trigger to both data sources and activate the workflow. Congratulations! You've successfully created a workflow that integrates Google Sheets with MySQL using NAN. Whenever a new Google form is submitted, a new row appears in the underlying spreadsheet, which is then synced in MySQL database. Once the submissions are reviewed, their status is synced back into the spreadsheet, making this automation reliable and stable in the long run. Finally, you can add new nodes and send notifications if any of the form submissions are not reviewed on time. This is just one workflow example, but you can create many other use cases for Google Sheets and SQL integration. 
If you have any questions, please leave a comment below the video. Also, let us know about other integrations you would like to see on this channel. N8N is absolutely a great tool for complex workflows, so be sure to check out the links in the description below. See you next time.